Hey everyone, what is good? Welcome back to the channel. This is Silver Hyena, and um, just in case you might have uh, missed the video, I would suggest going back and watching part one where I do the grand unveiling and the swatching of all of these. However, if you just flat don't care about that and intentionally skipped all of that to get to the illustration part, well, that's fine too. Anyways, a quick recap. All right, so we've got a watercolor travel kit, a sketching travel kit, a coloring with markers travel kit, and a colored pencil travel kit. There we go. I hope that was nice and informative. Okay, so the bottom line is that I am only going to be using the supplies that come in this kit, or well, these kits. Um, barring, of course, having some paper because, well, they, some of them came with like little coloring books and whatnot, but like, you know, that's not enough. I'm going to use all four of these on one mixed media piece. So let's see how long it takes for me to rethink my life choices. All right. So I had a plan of attack before even starting this video. Play to the strengths of what I've been given, or rather what I needlessly forced upon myself for the sake of making a YouTube video. Come on, that alone deserves a like and a subscribe. Come on. Alright, obviously the pencils were the opening act. Sketching! Who'd have guessed? Anyways, whenever I'm uncertain about what to do for a video, one thought comes to mind. Dragons! The perfect fallback. I absolutely love dragons. I enjoy drawing them, and these beautiful beasties lend themselves well to the entire color spectrum, down to the colors that only some species of shrimp can see. Seriously, on a side note, I envy one of my favorite freaking foods. I want to know what those colors look like. Talk to me, shrimp. Talk to me, or I'm getting the cocktail sauce. Oh, where was I going with this? Um, watercolors! Despite the chalky, less than stellar performance of these Art 101 watercolors, they were still my best option for overall coverage. The brush that came with the kit was... Uh, passable? I've used far better, but I've used far, far worse too. Several times during this piece I really wanted to use a bigger brush, but I resisted, although I had to use my regular rinse cups. There's, there's no getting around that. Of course, I had to let things sit and dry for a hot minute before going to the markers next. Especially since these are water-based markers that would just run and bleed all over the place if the paper was still wet. And just another quick testament to the magic that is Master's Touch Mixed Media Paper. This paper can take some serious abuse and it's reasonably priced. Try it out for yourself. Okay, one thing I was very relieved about was how much darker and full-bodied the markers were on this paper versus that cheap, flimsy coloring book that came with the set. I do think that the black outline came out a bit too thick for my liking, though. Looking back, I might have tried to emphasize the outline by going over it again with the pencils, maybe? Oh well, hindsight and all that. With that being said, the markers did color over the watercolors very well and provided the deep tones I was after. Sadly, the same can't really be said about the colored pencils. These colored pencils were just... not good. I'm gonna come out and say it, they were not good. There's just no other way around it. These were easily my least favorite out of everything out of these little kits. They're so tiny that hand cramps are inevitable. The pigment is mediocre at best. This one I'd highly recommend you pass, even for a buck fifty. 
Like seriously, just get a pack of Crayola, even crazy art colored pencils, okay? Yes, I just went there. Alrighty, so here we are. I have to say that these colors are very bright and cheerful and like, you know, I was just, I was just having fun. Like, I wasn't worried about staying in the lines. Yeah, things got a little bit messy there, but you know what? I don't care right now. I was just having fun playing around. Although I will admit though that this uh, tiny brush probably wasn't the best choice to do something like this, so I would definitely recommend using a bigger brush. Or like one of those water brushes probably would have been perfect for that. Okay, but that's besides the point because I was trying to only use what was in these kits, even though just out of habit I did keep grabbing for this eraser, but you know what? I'm not gonna count that because this is my video, so there. Anyways, overall, are these little art kit thingies worth it i think it's subjective it's like let me put it to you this way i'm glad i didn't pay full price for them but at a buck 50 a piece i'd say they're worth it i'd say they're worth it and once again this master's touch or, or wait a minute is this master's touch or fine touch it's it's been a while okay it's master's touch <laughs> Yeah, I forgot what freaking sketchbook I was using because like I, I did the okay confession time I did the initial swatch video about two weeks ago as of recording this video so this stuff has just been sitting out on my studio desk for like two weeks and what the heck was that just out there they don't realize I'm filming here okay anyways um let's see here um stuff 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 um yeah, uh, okay, tiny brush. Um, yeah, there's these kits, while they're not the fanciest in the world, they're definitely usable. And I had a lot of fun doing this. So, if you come across these kits, let me know in the comments section and let me know what you thought of them because honestly, I'm curious. And quite frankly, I'm surprised that there's even still. Um, stuff left because like I thought like with the markers that I was gonna drain those things <laughs> yeah okay oh yeah what I was saying about the paper um once again this master's touch mixed media paper holds up to the abuse like a boss I mean like master's touch don't disregard them anyways with all of that being said I certainly hope that you have enjoyed this video and that it has helped you out in some way of course, if it has, leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Honestly, that is the best way to help this channel grow. And this is Silver Hyena, signing off. Stay creative, everybody. Bye!